We're here and we continue to grow. And you know, and you know, the next sister that comes in as well, she'll get in, you know, she'll be able to bond, you know, with us and grow with us as well. But like I said, a lot of people, you know, and that's and I and I think the most high that's nothing that we've ever experienced where it was like, oh y'all know y'all just doing that for the camera. Yes, and, and I I'm not thank God that we never experienced that. Shabon. What's your name? As is Judah. You gotta talk to the It's a beer production. Alright, alright, alright. Shalom, shalom. Welcome to the house of Judah. So, as you already know, I need Yehuda Hayora. I'm Judah the Shooter. And YouTube.com slash House of Judah. And also ProPilotBook.com. Now, for those of you who have been re adding me on social media, it's not personal. I've been letting people know that if you do not have the book, you'll, of course, slowly will be removed from the friends list. It doesn't mean that I dislike you or have an issue with you. It just means that I'm not having that as a personal page anymore. You know what I'm saying? So I got plans for that page, most high willing. Um, you may be wondering, well, what book is he talking about? ProPilotBook.com, you can get my book, The Unwritten Rules of Polygyny. The book is not just for people who are pro-poly, but it's also for people who are anti-poly, whether you're in the Hebrew community or not. So uh, it clears up a lot of the misconceptions that you may or may not have known about polygyny. It goes over the pros and cons, and it goes over things of how you can be successful in poly, or you might just realize that you might be buying no more than what you can chew, and poly just might not be the lifestyle for you after all, as you probably thought that it was. You know, um, as I always say, uh, even in a book, um, polygyny is not for everybody, but monogamy isn't either. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's okay. Whichever one you decide that you want to do. So, um, once again, it's propolybook.com. Get the book, The Unwritten Rules of Polygyny. Also, last but not least, before we get started, um, I got a new color in. This is the lime green. I don't know if you can fully see that because of how we have the lighting set up here in my office. But anyway, um, definitely have the light lime green poly. 13s you know what i'm saying so as you see got the shoes of course uh got the jacket of course to match as well as the shirt all right ladies and gents so you can definitely get your merchandise on propolybook.com if you are having trouble with trying to find a color on there what you can do is you can comment in the notes on the color that you have seen so far and you can definitely do it that way so once again if you don't have a book the unwritten rules of polygyny You'll be removed. All right. So it's nothing personal. Um, and that's what it is. So we're going to go ahead without further ado. I'm going to go ahead and introduce to you, if this is your first time, the house of Judah. Yeah, let's get it. Ladies and gents, tune in. Come on in. Brothers, get your wife, your wives, your potential wife, your potential concubines or concubines on in this room so that we can get it going ladies and gents so let me go ahead and scoot this back i can zoom on in let me move it out of the way here all right ladies let's go ahead and get started all right shalom, shalom. we're the sister the wives of the house of judah you may know our lord as judah the shooter <laughs> go ahead and hit the bell for notifications to be notified <laughs> To be notified when we upload new videos. 
Ding. Ding. <laughs> I was sitting there playing in the background <laughs> while they was doing that. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, um, for those of you who this is your first time, um, we have quite a few videos on the channel. The last video we did was called RAW, which is an acronym for basically Runaway Wives. Uh, before that, we did a video called um, How We Introduce Polygyny to Our Children. Mm -hmm. And um, another video that we did with us is called uh, How Do You Make Polygyny uh, Lifestyle Work? Uh, which is of course is a frequently asked question. Uh, before that, we did the video, um, what are you bringing to the table? Uh, before that, they did the, your day is not filled. Before that, um, was actually, uh, Angie, for you officially came to the house of Judah. They did the sister talk, uh, are you insecure video. You remember that one? Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, before that one, they um, did the how should you treat uh, the new sister wife. Uh, so before I let them take over and do their thing, I want to do one more thing as well. I want to give a special shout out uh, to a sister on her by the name of Jasmine Brown. And uh, Jasmine Brown has, I have been noticing that she has been checking out the channel. And uh, she has some uh, really beautiful things uh, to say. So uh, uh, my wife did a video called The Role of a Woman, uh, Wife. So anyway, um, this is actually eight hours ago. Uh, she said, uh, thanks for the video. No, thanks for this video. She said, I wish the background music was lower or less. I apologize, sis. You know, I like to get my jam on, but <laughs> <laughs> you'll get used to that. <laughs> but uh, she said, I couldn't hear you uh, ladies at times. Yeah, that's what sometimes like, speak up, y'all. But anyway, um, she says, uh, I'm learning what my role is as a virtuous woman. That is very good. And she says, I'm revamping my marriage. I'm going to repeat that. She says, I am revamping my marriage. So before I continue, uh, brothers, understand that this channel was very, very important because it is actually changing lives, you know, one household at a time, you know. So, uh, but she says, uh, I'm revamping my marriage. She says, I can't wait until I get your book. All praises. Now, that might have been the sister that actually ordered it from Florida. Mm -hmm. Let me know if that was you. Uh, I'm not sure, but um, somebody actually did order the book from Florida today. Um, but anyway, um, she says, I can't wait till I get your book. And she said, my Lord finds, uh, oh, and my Lord finds another wife. So all praises to that, that the sister is, of course, opening up her mind to um, adjust to a potential lifestyle and culture. You know, even if uh, he decides not to do it you know um it's beautiful to see that she's open-minded to it unlike a lot of sisters who are who are in this community who know that understand that it's not a transgression or against <clears throat> the will of the father to actually do this but now of course you know how that go but anyway uh she says um i hope that we have a great bond like you ladies all praises so all praises to that let's go ahead and get that sister hand <laughs> All praises, all praises. Um, so what do y'all think, uh, just real quick, if you can kind of sum it up in, I guess, 30 seconds to her? Because she said, um, I hope that we have a great bond like you ladies. Um, obviously, she's probably referring to her potential sister wife, so anybody. If you can kind of sum it up in just 20, 30 seconds to what are some key things that she can do so she can have that type of bond that she see with you all. Anybody can do it. <coughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. Huh, what'd you say? Yeah, open-minded is one. It looks like she, you know, she's almost there or quite there. Uh, so being a very open-minded and knowing to walk, be in the fruits and um, be able to show that sister love. Okay, okay. Um, Angela, what about you? I decided to call you out. <laughs> 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 you know how you're figuring the new kid on the block. Yeah. What do you think she could do? You can sum it up in 20, 30 seconds on um, what she can do to uh, build a great bond. Because you're currently doing that now. Yes, so, I am. What better, matter of fact, what better person to <laughs> answer that? Because you are the new kid on the block. Yes. So what would you say to her? Um, I would say to just um, take notes from your, uh, I mean, um, learn to love and um, change your mindset about things. So um, just like if you had a, a biological sister you're gonna bond with her um, spend time with her have conversations um, learn about 
uh, teach her about the, your Lord, um, you know, so that she'll know the ropes and things like that. But then just make sure that, you know, you just tighten the reins on that bond, you know, because, I mean, that's what you would do if you had a biological sister. So just keep that same concept. Absolutely. All right. All right. So there it is, Jackson. We definitely appreciate you tuning in. Uh, we're definitely looking forward to you and uh, your house. Hold, uh, meaning your uh, husband and uh, maybe a potential sister or wife, to all have the book. You know, so all praise to the Most High for that. Once again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we also want you to go on our website, propolybook.com. Um, we encourage you to get the book, The Unwritten Rules of Polygyny. Um, you will be deleted off of our Facebook page if you have not purchased the book. Jeez. So today we are talking about happy wife, happy life. Psych! Psych. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do is to show you how untrue that is. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to show you how your husband should be your master, your lord, he's your controller, you're his possession. So it doesn't matter if you're a happy wife or not you have to um, do what the Bible says according to, you know, what you need to do in reference to your husband and how you treat him and you honor and you reverence him. And so we're going to show you today various scriptures that are going to support how that is an old adage. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just something that a worldly concept, you know, is um, not biblical at all because it's not about your happiness, but it is about submissiveness it is about obeying and listening to your lord well somebody said please help us here they go again <laughs> with this <laughs> what about me i can hear it now <laughs> who came up with this title no ma'am <laughs> <laughs> no ma'am no ma'am <laughs> no ma'am i'm hollering all right so uh let's go ahead and get it let's go ahead and get started i am interested to see how this is going to gonna uh play out so the first scripture that we're going to read is genesis 2 and 18 and it says and the lord god said it is not good that the man should be alone i will make him a help me for him so in the scripture it's basically telling you that uh the most high did not want um Adam to be alone so he wanted to bless him with a help me mm -hmm. so you have to pay attention to that word help because that's what you're supposed to be doing is helping your husband to meet whatever goals that he has set and the things that he needs to do throughout the day or just throughout the marriage but what about me and <laughs> what I mean and when I, I, I guess look, look, with that being <laughs> said we're going to take you to Ephesians 5 and 22 fun. <laughs> what about me? What about me? <laughs> 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 and to add to that, uh, that word help, the root word is the word azir. And the word uh, 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 azir, it means an aid, an assistant. Like she said, an help. You know, and speaking of this scripture, I did that video uh, on YouTube. It's been, I've been getting a lot of great feedback on it, of course. Uh, dealing with the topic of Adam and Eve. On my YouTube channel, it's called Adam and Eve, they two shall be one flesh or body. And Hebrew has the word achad, because you know that's the one of the first scriptures they go to, the anti-poly community. Yeah. It was one man and one woman. Yeah. You know, Adam and Eve, it says one flesh. Adam had one wife, not many. It was Eve, not Eve's. Yeah. You know how I get. Yeah. So I did a lesson on that, addressing the anti-poly community. So definitely have your husbands check that out. Oh, he's going to love it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so we did, we just did the uh, Sephira Bella Sheets of the book of Genesis chapter 2 and 18. Mm -hmm. And now you all are now in Ephesians chapter 5. Yes. All good. right, let's get it. All right, so Ephesians 5 um, verse 22. Uh, we go over the same verse all the time. Uh, but it states, it says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Mm. Um, so that's telling you that the same way that you're supposed to be submitting yourself unto your husband is or unto the Lord is the same way that you're supposed to be submitting yourself to your uh, hus your husband. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, we can also go to Colossians three 
it's gonna say the same thing. Let's, Verse 18. Let's get it. Um, it says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as it is fixed in the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, you know, going from there, just remember that we are supposed to be submitting ourselves unto our husbands, how we are supposed to be doing the most high. Absolutely. Do me a favor. Um, for the, um, pull up the the meaning for the word of uh, uh, submit. Submit yourselves to. Oh, uh, I got it. All right. It First. says to subordinate. Mm. Reflexively to obey. To what? Obey. Mm. What else? Be under obedience. Mm. Put under. Mm. Subdue unto. Uh, be make subject. Mm. Uh, to unto be put in subjection. Submit self unto. All right, that's what she's reading there. All right, even when you uh, go further down, and if you've seen my lessons in the in the past, you already know. Uh, to arrange under, to subordinate, to subject, put in subjection. Uh, it says to subject oneself, obey. Then it says to submit to one's control. Number five, to yield to one's admonition or advice, to obey the subject. All right, let's get it. <clears throat> okay, the next scripture we're going to read is Deuteronomy chapter 10, verses 12 and 13. Mm. Now, and this is for those of you who just read the Ephesians 5, when it tell you, uh, why submit yourself unto your own husbands as unto the Lord, meaning our master. So if you know what the Lord requires of us, then you know how to submit to your husband just as you would to our master. So let's see what he requires of us. Go ahead and speak up. And now Israel, what did the Lord that God require of thee? Say it again. What did the Lord thy God require of thee? Go ahead. But to fear the Lord thy God, to mm. walk in all Hold on, his... wait. Let's read that slow. The first one was what? But to fear the Lord thy God. So the first thing it said to fear. To fear the Lord your God. That sounds like Ephesians 5 when it tell you that the wife is to reverence her husband. It's the same meaning. So it says to fear the Lord your God. What else? To walk in all his ways. No, some of his ways. All his ways. What if I don't agree with it? All his ways. So, to walk in all of his ways. Same thing you do to your husband. What else? And to love him. And to, to serve love, the Lord. Hold on. We're going too fast. What's the next one? To walk in all his ways mm -hmm. and to love him. To love him. So, the same way you love the father is the same way you love your husband. What else? And to serve the Lord thy God. So to serve the Lord your God, just like you a servant of the Messiah, you'd be a servant to your husband as well. What else? To serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So the word for heart is le'ev or la'ab. It means your mind. So with all of your mind and with all of your soul, with everything that you have in you. So by you knowing what the Lord requires, then you know exactly what he requires of you to do to your husband because he is your Lord. All right. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for mm. thy good. All right. You want to expound on it? Any? Um, it's basically letting you know, you know, as well, um, that we're supposed to, if your husband has commandments, if he has orders, you know, we know that we're supposed to be obedient to our husbands. We're supposed to reverence and honor them. So if he, if you're supposed to honor him and he, and you're not honoring him, then of course you're breaking one of the commandments. If you're supposed to reverence him and you're not reverencing him, you're definitely breaking the commandments. If it tells you, you know, it's already letting you know, what do I, what do I require from you, servant? I require you to be silent, loving, to rejoice your husband, to be his peace, all those things. So if you're doing anything contrary to it, then you're not doing what the Lord require you to do. Mm. That's good. Mm. All right. Look at that. All right. So what's next? Talk to me. Um, 
All right, so um, now a lot of people will wonder why we chose to do this particular video. Well, we were actually asked um, if we're doing all of these things to make our husband happy, right. where do our happiness come from? Right. Well, the Bible definitely tells us if you are doing these things, Okay, so being a being a, a help me in a peace to your husband. If your husband is happy and you're his peace, that brings you ha well, that should bring you happiness. I know that brings us happiness, right? Yes, it does. That brings us happiness. So if you if we're doing all these things to make sure that because they a lot of women they do they do know I'm not even gonna say that they don't know and understand that our men go out here and battle demons all day long. You right. know, fighting the good fight, to the Lord's fight, and then the last thing that they want to come home and battle you too. Right. Yeah. So true. we're supposed to be their peace, their 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 pillow of rest. My husband was said, you know, good, you know, being a dragon will make you run from run right. from you. I'll run yeah. from you instead of run to you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He don't. They don't want to be bothered with that. So if my husband coming home from a long day, he'd have been out here teaching and battling, and the last thing I want to come home and have him being upset at me too. No, I want him to come home smiling like, "Baby, I'm I'm glad you yeah, know I'm, I'm home. I got all my yeah. wives, my kids here, Finally. and he's he's happy. That brings me happiness because I know that we put that smile on his face." Right. We know that we didn't we didn't calm him down, and we it's, it's, it's nothing of a last because his day is in the back of his not, his mind now. So that that is our happiness. That should be your happiness. Yes, it should. So we we like we need to revamp our mindsets, ladies, because again, society has taught us happy wife, happy life. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what Justin Brown says. She's revamping her mind. Yeah, <laughs> we we have to do that. You can't say happy wife, happy life because. The Bible definitely tells us we wicked. How how you gonna be wicked and happy at the same time? That don't even make no sense. Yeah. We gotta get our minds mm -hmm. together, sisters. I remember we was asked that we was on that live video. Yeah. yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Well, was that a woman or a man? It was that a man. Asked it, was, it was a. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a guy that asked that question. Asked. No, it was the woman. It was it was that one girl who um, seemed kind of sad. She had asked. No, it was a man that got on her ex too. Mm -hmm. Well, he. I'm not doubting that, but the original question came from that one light skinned lady. Like, she was like, okay, well, what about your Okay, happiness? yeah, you're right. You're right, yeah. Y'all yeah. both right, yeah. Oh, I remember yeah. the man asking, so yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah, right we, before we got off. We were on this live video, so I remember. All right. Yeah. So let's get, anybody else want to chime in on that? Anybody? Any comments on that? No. Okay, no. okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Proverbs 31 and 11. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. The heart of her husband, though, safely trusted her so that he shall have no reason, I mean, no need to spoil. So knowing that your husband has that trust in you, that he can safely know that his house is being taken care of, that the kids is being taken, that everything is being done right to his standards, just like you would do the most high. Everything is being done right. Why would he be happy? That's right. right. His confidence to be in you. And that would mean what? That you would make sure he never become poor. Yeah. You want lack of gain. As a matter of fact, poor is the definition for the word husband. I've talked about this in my video, uh, Daughters of Zion versus Daughters of Satan. I think that's why I named it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. But go ahead. Look up the word for husband. What does it say? It says a master. A what? A master. Now the Hebrew word there is what? Baal. Mm-hmm. Baal. And it says what? A master. A master. So go ahead. What else? Hence a husband or figuratively an owner. A what? An owner. A owner. So look. You can drop that. So basically, that's what it's basically uh, letting you know, sisters. Your husband is your master. He's your owner. All right? So understand that. So he's your Lord. The same way you will submit to the Lord is the same way you submit to your Lord, which is your husband, your owner, your master. All right. But go ahead. What else? Talk to me. So, um... Yeah, like, I know uh, it's sad because a lot of sisters will be like, well, I'm not submitting to no man. I'm not. Well, you don't believe in the Bible then, sis. Like, don't, let's take the Bible off the table then because you don't sit here and say, oh, well, you know, I believe in the Bible. I follow the Bible, but you're not submitting it to your husband. 
yeah. because he's a man. But the Bible definitely tell us too. Yeah. So you need to revamp again, revamp your mindset because you you wicked out here still, sir. You know, um, that's you know for polyamory, mm -hmm. like you, you wicked out here, sir. And just remember, you guys, you know, before we continue, go to propolybook.com. Mm -hmm. I'm reading rules of polygyny is the name of the book. Right. It is very much going around the world. It has. You know, it has. It's, it's been been going out. It's, it's, you know, don't miss out on your copy today. And just remember, if you don't have the copy, no offense, none to you nor your family, but you will be deleted. Yes. Online Boop. supporters will be deleted. You don't go where we're, we're tolerated. I mean, uh, no, <laughs> no, we're, we're celebrated, celebrated, not tolerated. tolerated. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, don't forget to get your book. That's right, that's right. Um, Next, we're going to go to Sirach 26. Verse 1 through 4. All right, let's get it. Also known as Ecclesiasticus. Yes, yes. Uh huh. Let's get it. Um, it says, Blessed is a man that had a virtuous wife, mm. for the number of his days shall double. Mm. Now, wouldn't, why wouldn't you want to double your husband's days? Why do you want to, again, because of all the the poison that they put in our food and our air, you know, we already, our life's are already short. So why would you make it even shorter for that man? Right. Like we already live longer than them. Why would you want to cut down his life with and, your wickedness? And that virtue is from the Hebrew word chayil. It means that strength. So that's you know it's, it's, I'm strong woman. All right. Well, that noble woman, that chayil, is shit or virtuous woman. You yeah. know she's that the woman of strength, the woman of valor, if you will. So. It says, "Blessed is the man to have a virtuous wife, for the number of his days shall be shortened or doubled. 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 It will be as if he had a double life." All right. What the next verse say? A virtuous woman rejoices her husband. Nah, she pisses him off. Rejoices her husband. She does what she wants to do to her rejoices husband. Rejoices her husband. So you see that? Read it one more time. A virtuous woman rejoices her husband. And he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace. Mm. So again, and uh, and ladies, you get you you benefit off of that too because if you're giving your husband peace, then peace is coming back onto you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because if you are are pissing him off, then you're gonna get angry, and then there's no peace. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing what you're supposed to do and, and and submitting unto him, like we're supposed to be, he's gonna be he's gonna have that peace, and he has. It's gonna be peace in the house. Why not get you quit, quit trying to bring them demons in your house? Right, right. Cause they jump on people. They jump off of you, but they gonna jump right back on you. Mm -hmm. So we gotta come on, sisters. Verse three. Let's get a, it. a good wife is a good portion, mm. which shall be given into in the good portion of them that fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. Verse four. Whether a man be rich or poor. If he have a good heart toward the Lord, he shall at all times rejoice with a cheerful countenance. Mm, countenance with his appearance, his face. You see him? He's happy. Has nothing to do with his bank account. So whether a man be rich or poor. All right. Go ahead. Yeah. So sisters, we wanna we wanna be that that peace for them. We wanna go ahead and and re make submission great again. Hmm. There we go. That's one of my videos. <laughs> I'm making mission great again. So it's just like we got to... And then think about it. What if you have a daughter? Your daughter is looking at you and then you creating a wicked wife for, a wicked wife for another man for when your daughter get older. Yeah. And then the cycle just going to keep on, keep on. When, is, when are we going to break the cycle? That's right. Like, I, honestly, ask yourself, when are we going to break this cycle, sisters? Yeah, I did. You need to be saying it's, it's going to start with me. Yeah, I did a video called Make Submission Great Again. So... It's a short video. It's on my channel. You can definitely check that out. I did it over a year ago. Make submission great again. So it's actually in the Hebrew language, you know. So for my Hebrew readers and speakers. But go ahead. Yeah. So we need to go ahead and 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 get ourselves together. Real talk. And I mean, again, a man if he's happy, he's gonna make sure you're happy. But don't make the whole focus be on your happiness, right? Because his happiness matters too. Yeah. yeah. Black men happiness matters. <laughs> 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 Wait, 
And it, it's sad to say this, but why y'all think they go to white women? Mm. Wow. White women submit to white men. White women make sure they men feel like they up here. Right. But black women, nah, I ain't doing that. Right. But a do white that woman gonna make sure he he good. Yeah. And the crazy part about it is too, and and for those of you got your panties in a bunch, it's not saying that all of you, you know, what I'm saying so. Let us say that for the record, because sometimes I'll see a post and they'll say those things. I'm like, well, now my women, my women submit. So, you know, these women do exist. If you feel like it's you, then it's you. Yeah. If you're offended by this video, then it's you. And what can you say? Uh, the emptiest wagon. Make some noise. noise. Yeah. 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 If the shoe fits, take it. Uh, word. If it don't, take it off. Exactly. I wanted to um, say something to what my sister was saying. Go ahead, and you are. I actually <laughs> saw a video that my sister Judy uh, shared, and uh, there was a lady, and she gave a comparison. Um, of a black woman married to a white man yeah, a as opposed woman. to a black woman married to a black man. I think I saw that. And it was very interesting just like my sister said that when um, a white woman marries a black man she upholds him. It was the same like reverse type of psychology deal mm -hmm. with the black wife with the white husband. Mm. And you can clearly see how they allowed their men to be the head. Yeah. You can clearly see how Talking they were song. very submissive. She was more feminine yes. to them. Yeah, I yes. remember that. Yes. Yeah. And it, was, it was a really nice um, aha moment for me because I never, you know, would have thought that. Yeah, yeah, I never would have thought that that was going on yeah. um, out here in society. So, yeah, you can learn something. But, you know, today, hopefully you'll learn how to submit. Yeah. And how to love your husband and honor and reverence him. That's yeah, right. So. Absolutely. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, I, I it's been a while since I've seen that video, but I think if that's the clip they were showing different examples of different women. Yes. With their uh, the spouses who were of another nation. Yeah, I, I, I remember that. You know, I remember that. Man. Woo. <laughs> yeah. It's sad that how far we've come. Like, do you think? Sarah was sitting there rolling her eyes and telling Abraham, nah, I ain't gonna do that, right, nah. Right. You can make your own. I'm about to leave. Yeah. 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 My kids gotta eat first. Right. right. You, think they, you think they were exactly. doing that? Do you think? Packed up the kids. And Rachel and right. Leah yeah. was doing a couple, come on, well, y'all think, y'all think that our, our yeah. foremothers were really doing this? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, but, but, of course, it's always a, a blame because, because, when we became, when we were in slavery, even after slavery, you know, we had the food stamps. Men weren't allowed to be in the houses, yeah. and they belittled and, and degraded the man in front of the woman yeah. in slavery. So you know, it's it does go so far back. But w again, when are we gonna break the chain? When right. are we gonna break the cycle? And do better. Do better. Yeah. yeah. When are we yeah. gonna do better? And and. This is why men prefer Polly because all right, this she ain't acting right. I'm I'm go chill with this one over here. Yeah, that's right. Be his piece. Yeah. Be his piece. He'll run to you. Be his headache. He's gonna run from you. Okay. Yes, Every time. that's true. Propollybook.com. <laughs> <laughs> Get the book. Get the book today. Find out how to build your house. Yes. Find out how to build it up right. Yep. Not on build, sand. Get it up right. <laughs> You know, we gon' sisters. We gotta do better. And this ain't. Well, what about the men? We don't bash men because that's not that's not our role. Yeah, that's not. That's not. Role. We not. We not. That's not our role to teach them to rebuke. Pray for him. Yeah. And fast for him. Yeah. Pray over him. Yeah. Sisters, right. keep the commandments. That's yeah. It. Try that. Yeah. First. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. Be. I said, I've been in the truth for 20 years, and you still don't even realize that I'm supposed to be keeping the commandments. All Everything in this book just reverts right back to the commandments. Man. Yes. You honoring again, you honoring him, you loving him, you respecting him, Do just doing all those things, which is little. 
Yeah, and it's you so can't even do that. So like, small. You're so I, worried about what he's doing. Our no. role yeah. is so small. It's like, like it's yes, like this I, little. Our role like if we could so take out each scripture specifically for the woman and put it in a book, it would be like a little pamphlet, man. like the little pamphlets. <laughs> yeah, like the, 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 the A and B. Yeah, and like our role is so. Man. Small, like enjoy being a woman and, and like <laughs> what this. a verse break it would be. Yeah. Yeah. And all of this is telling Love you to just be quiet. That's it. <laughs> just shut up. Right. Right. So I'm just find anything to around that. Like, like, bro, we all quiet. know Bible Bible is basically the destruction before yeah. leaving life. Yeah. Like, come on, dude. Earth. I mean, yeah, Earth. Like, dude, dude. Oh, and that's an acronym that people There's actually the blueprint right there. As, yeah. And, and it's also sad that women, they're not afraid of death. Right. That Almost tonight, you, tonight, you know, you die in your sleep and you just did all this to your husband. You just did all this to a potential sister wife. And then you will just go to sleep at night like, Nothing. I'm a daughter of Zion. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wow. going to make statuses and people are going to come on my status and they're going to praise me. Yeah. But being wicked. So I, I just couldn't see how, like, I, after you know the story, the the I, the king went over with after death. I don't want to be drug out by no big burly angel coming to throw yeah. me in one of them cars that you can't cross over. I don't want that. Yeah. I don't want to be on judgment day and a big old angel would just throw me in, in a lake of fire. I don't yeah. want that. Like the fur. Yeah. <laughs> and it's crazy too because you know again that's. You know, y'all know how I feel for the most part about, and I said for the most part about taking a wife from a sister in the community. You know, it's to the point now I would rather, rather pursue the woman that's just like the slut. Yeah. You know, with the weave it. and stuff Not like. Pursue it, but I'm sorry, cut you off. I wouldn't even want you to. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, say it. One, one, I one. wouldn't want him to pick no one from the, uh, from the, from the so-called yeah. truth. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Yeah. truth. Hold on, explain, because there may be new people on the channel. Go okay, ahead, Judy. So what are you talking if, about? If my husband were to have somebody of the world that he's courting, and also somebody of the of the truth, somebody who's a Bible believer who believes in uh, Abraham, As Isaac, and Jacob, allegedly. yeah, allegedly, who follows our culture, yeah, who follows our culture, that, yeah. all that, um, I would want him to pick somebody of the world first, mm -hmm. then somebody of the truth, because mm -hmm. again, I mentioned that woman may have been in the truth twenty years you know know of the commandments but aren't, aren't keeping the commandments you know you're not loving your husband you're not honoring him you're not bringing him peace joy you're not in the fruits of the spirit right um so why would he choose you just because you have on a head wrap and fringes and border of a blue yellow gold all of that it don't even matter that woman who's of the world she's actually silent and loving and wants to be a part of the household, wants to be a part of, of the sisterhood, all those things. And that is so And have great. room for you to pour into. Say yes. it again. Because a lot of these sisters that's Hold already- Hold on, say that again. Some, some, some sister uh, wasn't listening, she probably was distracted. What'd you say? Have room to be poured into. Man, not arguing over doctrine and stuff right. like that, yeah. okay. And, and willing to learn. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing, Like, it, and it's so sad because you do have sisters that are of the world I mean, you know taking some of them have been Christianity it's sometimes hard to break Christianity but it's easier to break Christianity than doctrines of being in the faith already yeah. Yeah. because they well people will create a whole other doctrine yeah. and listen to this little bit and this little bit this little bit yeah. Put them together and and create a whole nother. Or yep. being poly unions and it don't work out for them now to teach against it. Right, like, yeah. we see oh, this yeah. all up in the yes. missing books. You can't even come into the relationship to to learn because you've been dilly dallying and doing all this research and just doing yeah. all these things that one we the most high didn't even tell you to do. He told we you to teach to the women yes. their role again to be silent, to be loving, to be modest, to train up your daughters and not leave them out here loose and you know just doing whatever they want like we supposed to be doing those things sewing yeah, yeah. but we're too busy again in the lost books <laughs> ezra trying to figure out what he yeah. was talking to the most high about we too busy doing those things than yeah. our actual role and that's what a lot of women are losing fo focus you've been in the truth 10 years yeah. And you've been focused on the wrong thing, and us women are teaching, trying to teach you and tell you what to do, but you don't want to hear it, right? Because yeah. you're basically supposed to be out there talking to the men, and yeah. now right. you're a married by Israel. 
Right. <laughs> Tell them what the Mary Body Israel is. For those who, who ain't been following the channel. <laughs> Say you a Mary Body Israel. Yeah, y'all learn what that is if y'all have been following us and paying attention. Hold on. And it doesn't mean that somebody in the truth who haven't who has been in the truth ten years or twenty years can't get it. Doesn't mean that. But we yeah. don't understand that for the most part it's very <laughs> unlikely and it is a huge gamble with doing that you know what i'm saying i talk about that in the book and i've made videos on it so if you've been following us you already know what we're pretty much talking about but this is your first time looking at this video then yeah you're probably looking at everything for face value don't understand what it is that we teach and the message that we push across this channel yeah they they they're really a diamond in the rough um yeah. i can honestly say that i was one of them yeah um i was in the truth um and i didn't uh, follow doctrine. Well, you knew the truth. Where I was, I knew of it. Yeah. Um, I wasn't keeping the commandments, but it wasn't hard for my husband to break me in. It wasn't hard for him to teach me. It wasn't right. hard for him because I definitely had an open mind for it. So it wasn't hard. Yeah, didn't argue nothing. That's why no. I, I, I I give that uh, that two and a half or three and a half year cap. Like after that, it's just like man, for the most part, it's just a lost cause. And I'm really giving. The benefit of the doubt after that that two years like yo man if you read the book you already know why i said that you know i got a brother um i get you i got a brother who um he's um you know he's about to pursue a sister you know i won't say my brother's name but i told him how i felt about it it's like nah bro let's just let that go <laughs> you know um the sister is uh i'll just say that she's uh 63 you know what i'm saying she's 63 and uh, it's not because of her age, it's because of how long she's been in the truth. She's been in the truth for uh, 29 years, I want to say. Oh, and it's sad because you said no. Right. Yeah, yeah. I was like, no. It is, it's ridiculous. Because yeah. that should be the prime person. Like, yeah, we should like, be able ooh, to align yeah. our sisters yeah. up yeah. that's been in the truth and actually look to them and follow yeah. after them. But we yeah. don't. And yeah. he, keep, like, he keep us away from everybody because... They off. They yeah. they're they're off. Most of them. Most of most yeah. of them are off. It's a few, it's a handful. Yeah. Um. But as far as like obtaining a woman of the world or or that's already a Bible believer, it's sad because the more the woman of the world will get more praise than that Bible believer because they're more one they're more accepted of polygyny. Um. Yeah. They're more accepted yeah. to learn the Bible yeah. and uh, to learn I, it correctly. I, I want to say now. Hold. On, I want to finish that. So. She's been in truth 20 years. Now, she is open to Polly and things like that. And, you know, he's a good brother of mine. He respectfully, you know, disagreed. You know, so, you know, we weren't upset that we disagreed, yeah. you know, because who's going to agree on everything? Right. But uh, I've been told him I ain't got no faith in her. <laughs> you can't get it right in, in 29 years and you ain't, and you still dressing, you know, how you was when you first came to the truth and worse. Oh, wow. I ain't got no faith. In that, like, oh man, like that's just too much of a gamble for me. You know, I'd rather just go get the one that's already dressed like that and teach her from scratch and teach her for the first time. Now, does that mean that it's not gonna work out between that sister? No, it doesn't mean that. That just means you, the shooter, ain't finna fucking do it. That's all that just means. You know what I'm saying? And again, she didn't get denied because of her age. You know, one of my wives is over 50 years old. You know, over 50, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> I didn't do it because of age. used to him saying that. <laughs> you know, it's none of y'all business which wife. <laughs> I was y'all gonna say which wife you think it is. <laughs> right. right. So, so but anyway, so I didn't say it because of that, you know. So, that doesn't mean that someone that's 65 can't get the truth. I've seen a video of an 85 year old woman was getting the truth for the around the first time, you know. So that doesn't mean anything. But yo, I mean, again, we're really I, I, I can't never say never if I'm being fully honest. But man, that ain't really in my intentions. I'm good, <laughs> man. Who knows? Maybe my fifth wife is probably living somewhere in Brazil right now, watching this, speaking oh, Spanish. So and I don't know what she's we saying. Need to go. Right. We gotta go find her. Shalom. <laughs> <laughs> she gotta go find her. Get y'all to us. She probably a, a, a black Brazilian. <laughs> right. You know. <laughs> Let us know. Right. Shoot your shot. 
<laughs> or she probably in Florida or something. Right. <laughs> right. Y'all <Yeah>, funny. <laughs> so we said shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. <laughs> Vacation. If you're in Africa, go ahead and said, you know, come on, sister. <laughs> yeah, she probably in Africa or something. Dominican. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, love, who wants to chime in and say anything else? I had to get that out too. <laughs> I, I think I was saying something as far as like because uh, I, I would say also like as far as the scripture you know um, because of, of course we are still here many are called few are chosen mm-hmm. you know so just because all those women you know came, or women he um, yeah came and went or whoever he's courting still if you don't have you know if you're not a strong woman if you can't endure Thank you. Yeah. Then this is not work. the house. This is not the house for you. This if you can't walk in the fruits of the spirit every day, it's not the house for you. That's right. So. That's right. All right. What's next on the list? What we got? What oh, we, we got? I'm sure of, we done um, pissed some sisters off. <laughs> All right. A lot of them. Um, that guy right here. Right. 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 Um, <laughs> she right. talking about some psych. Yeah. Psych. She probably still tripping off that. We probably psych. Are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be all right. I'm not sorry. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. If we didn't have the psych on there, we probably have like a hundred thousand views. Happy right. all women. Yeah. Woo, yeah. Finally, they didn't die. Right. Real. <laughs> make us happy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I might just name it just Happy Wife, Happy Life. <laughs> wow. Put some hearts. So be, Surprise. Right. Surprise. <laughs> Show some clips of you giving us balloons and gifts and stuff. Yeah. Psycho. That is funny. That's funny. What else we got? We got anything else? Well, that was actually the end of the video. Okay. We got a little bit of homework. Um, The homework for this week is going to be self reflection. Uh, We want you to actually sit and ask yourself to think, reflect uh, on who happiness actually matters biblically. Um, not this worldly, uh, happy wife, happy life, but who the Most High actually put to be in charge, to actually be, you know, to who are we supposed to be making sure is actually happy. Mm-hmm. Um, so just reflect on that. And I think that's good too, because coming out of the world, coming into our customs, our culture, and if this don't apply to you, it just don't, but those of you who know who I'm speaking to coming into this we have our viewpoint and our perception of what we think love is and how it how it looks um, for example um, you may have some say well he don't love me if he's not romantic right. or yeah. he's uh, and let me pause on that um, another homework assignment sisters Look up the orders of the word romantic. I'll go ahead and give you it, but just go ahead and confirm it. It just means like or as the Romans. You know, so it is actually a Roman custom. Does that mean that it is a sin to be romantic? No, it doesn't mean that. But you can't really spiritually beat your husband up because he's not what you classify as being romantic. Um, So because, again, it's a Roman custom. But it's not a pagan custom, so it's not a transgression or a sin to do it. That brothers, that don't mean that you can't be sweet to your woman. You know what I'm saying? And being fucking overbearing, that don't mean that either. You know, am I sweet to y'all? Yes. You know what I'm saying? So yes. yes. I I don't even care about you being romantic. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and, and I'm very affectionate. So, I'm very affectionate. Very, yes. Yeah. I'll take the affection. Not yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm very affectionate. I'm very affectionate. Like, it's to the point I, I can't, I couldn't even pursue if it. If she's not affectionate, I, it just won't work for me. You know? Um, so, this is coming from somebody like me. You know? So, if, again, if he's not like that, that doesn't mean he's just a bad person. That doesn't mean he don't love you. It just means he's just not like that, you know? And technically, so to speak, he don't have to be because yeah. it's technically not his custom and culture. But it doesn't mean he can't show affection. I'm not saying that because, you know, sisters are here. What the hell they want to hear? Yeah. 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 He, oh, Jordan said you, you can't be sweet to, uh, to me anymore. That's what she'd hear. Like, I didn't even say nothing like that. Like, right. You just heard me say I'm sweet to my own. So, oh, yeah. 
You didn't hear that. You know, oh, so what you trying to say? You can't open the door for me and I like didn't say that either. Even, hey, but if you want to go into the orders of that too, <laughs> opening doors was technically for the man. That's All right. true. Yeah, I, I did. Yeah. I researched that. Yeah. That's true. So when the, uh, I, mean, I always open the door for my woman. I don't knock you for that, brother. You know, I would do it too. But if you want to be technical, the brother said, well, I don't want to do it. Well, you know, technically it was a custom that was for men. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that is... A homework assignment for Val. <laughs> you know, just like wearing high heels were originally a custom for men. Yeah, yeah. and wigs. Yeah, and wigs. Yeah, and men's t shirts. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, but don't get me started on that. You have a lot of homework. <laughs> nah. But, so, uh, yeah. yeah. So, doesn't mean that you can't be sweet and things like that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, who knows? Maybe I may have to do a video on this on my channel. You know, kind of go into some spill on that. So, um,. Once again, about that book, though, you know. We want you to go to probolybook.com. Probolly? Probolly. Oh, okay. okay. Probollybook.com. Get the and unwritten rules of polygyny. Yes. Right. Purchase your copy today. Or your merchandise. Yep. Absolutely. Or your merch. No book deleted. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, it's not personal, you know. I've been getting people that's been, you know, re add me. And I've been explaining to some of them. And to some, I just... Look, I can't get back to everybody. It's just so many people that reach out to me daily. I can't get back to you all, you know. So that just goes to show you that you haven't even been following the channel anyway, or you're keeping up with me anyway. I mean, you haven't even been called to check up on me anyway. You know what I'm saying? So if you did, then you definitely know for the past few months I've been saying that. You know. Um, so uh, did anybody want to say anything else to anybody? Anything? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, we do again. Want you sisters to to revamp your mindset, your your way of thinking. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. So once again, uh, shout out to Jasmine Brown. Uh, her last comment on one of the videos. Oh, she commented on y'all first video. Ooh, man, yeah, that was a rough one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I come a long way since then. Yeah. But uh, uh, she says uh. I found you ladies from your King's page. Well, that's what's up. I'm not sure who she is, but hey, shout out to your sister. Uh, but she said, um, I found you, uh, found you ladies from your King's page, and I will be watching all of your videos. And she said, my husband, um, yeah, my husband, oh, I guess my husband and I were speaking about polygyny. And she says, I'm excited to learn how to be a proper Righteous wife. I don't hear it, sister with your bad self. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, she said, as well as a sister. All right? She says, um, what did it say? Um, try. We try and due to our uh, marital problems, there was jealousy. And I had to apologize to my husband. You know, so this sister here is obviously uh, acknowledging you know, mm -hmm. her wrong doings. No no and praises. that's what's up, you know, all praises. She took accountability. Yeah. Right yeah. Up, which a lot of women And you know, I always say uh, women love to be held <laughs> until <laughs> it's accountable. <laughs> <laughs> hold me. <laughs> <laughs> when it on baby boy, hold me. Yeah. Yeah. Looking yeah. ass. They love to be held until it's accountable, don't you? But anyway, uh, but definitely not this sister. So she said, uh, so I'm anxious. Key word. I'm anxious to learn from you ladies. You know what I'm saying? So she said she is anxious. You know, uh, and then she said, uh, oh, yeah, that's what she responded. Uh, so, yeah, she'll be uh, getting the book. So hopefully it's just make sure uh, your husband get it as well. You know what I'm saying? So make sure he get it as well. And uh, if you decide to uh, definitely get it and your husband, let me know so that I don't remove you. I'm, as of right now, I'm not sure who you are. And sometimes they'll be brothers. Or sisters, they may get it under a different name, but I'm used to your Hebrew name. Right. right. So you get under your government. I don't know that you you uh your real name is Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I know you was the wild about a rattle You know. <laughs> so I don't know that. So you know, yeah. Sometimes people reach out to me. You know, some people I've you know barely spoken with have gotten the book. Hey, you deleting me. I got your book. Oh, man, my bad. I didn't know, you know. You know, right here, you, your name is Thomas. You know, so, I, I, hey, 
forgive me for that. You know, so if you've gotten the book from ProPilotBook.com, the actual hard copy, and if I deleted you, that is a big my bad. All right, so, so Justin, yeah, definitely go ahead and make sure you get it. When you do, uh, reach out to me and, um, yeah, we get that going. But, um, so, yeah, so last minute, so this, again, there's nothing else? No. All right, well, so we're going to go ahead and end the video. Definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is YouTube.com slash House of Judah. And last but not least, ProPolyBook.com to get the book, The Aunt written rules of polygyny definitely get that book all right so with that being said ladies and gents shalom nigga <laughs>